Hey everyone, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is another comic book haul slash how I get my comics for so cheap. I have two different piles, about 50 books, and uh, they came with, from two different sources, but kind of the same source, but different source. Does that make any sense? No. But I'll tell you exactly how much I got them for and why they were so cheap, but let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the first batch, which starts off right here. So this is New Mutants number one, the variant. And then I got X-Men number one, uh, Venom number 13, and Venom number eight. And like I said, at the end of this first batch, I'll tell you exactly how much I paid for them and how come they were so cheap and how, you know, essentially you can get them for that much as well, depending on where you are, to be totally honest. Um, I don't know what one this one is, but it's one of the uh, X-Men books. It's one of the variants. I think it's X-Force. I could be wrong. War of the Realms, The Punisher, number one. The Variant. X-Force, number one. Red Goblin, Red Death, number one. Remember all the hubbub about this character turned out to be absolutely nothing? Here is a variant of that book. There you go. Not bad. Cool looking cover. Set those down. Morpheus, The Living Vampire, number one. Doesn't he have a movie coming out? I don't know. Amazing Mary Jane, number one. This is a variant, I believe. Uh, $20.99, the Spider-Man one. Uh, Shuri, number one. This book picked up a little bit. Killmonger, number one. Deadpool, number one. A lot of number ones. You can kind of see a trend. Uh, Annihilation Scourge, number one. Very cool. Star Wars Age of Republic Darth Maul, number one. Picked up a few Star Wars books. Here is Titans 29, the B cover. And Justice League 12, also the B cover. That's pretty cool, Aquaman. I like that. Set those down. Here's some really cool independent books. Star Trek Discovery number, uh, or one shot. This is a one shot. It's a thicker book, too, there. It's like an $8 cover price. Berserker Unbound, number one. This is a great series. Really enjoyed that one. Suki Bond Turbo, number one. Uh, Devil Within, number one. The Walking Dead, number 192. Uh, the second printing. The Death of Rick Grimes, I believe. Here is The Walking Dead, The Alien. This was the one that was the web series, and they finally made a book for it for the comic appreciation day or something like that so that's a thicker one as well the empty man number one by boom studios very awesome book i read that one set those down last little batch hopefully i don't drop any murder falcon number one very cool artwork in that uh vindication number one i don't know anything about that book but just look cool red sonia number one and folklore's number one one of my favorite books to be honest um, so that is the first batch, and basically that's 30 books right there. Um, these all came out of grab bags from my local comic shop, Things from Another World. Uh, these grab bags, they sell for $5 for a pack, and there's 10 books in each pack. Obviously, you not everyone has that available to you. It's local, which makes sense. Uh, but there are local collectors here that watch these videos, so if you're missing out on these uh, grab bags, you should pick them up. Now, uh, for some reason, they're on sale for $250 for a grab bag for some I don't know why they haven't changed the price they're supposed to be five dollars but right now they're 250 plus my discount of 25 percent off so they come out to be a dollar 85 for a grab bag of 10 books <laughs> so uh, that's a pretty good deal so I've actually bought quite a few of these grab bags over the last couple of weeks they haven't adjusted the price for a buck 85 and a lot of times I buy them out. A lot of times I buy tons of them and I've used them for Bueller boxes and stuff like that, which I don't have any of right now. But uh, I really do pay attention. Whenever I see these grab bags for this shop, you know, I try to grab them up. And right now is a good time because, like I said, they're half what they should be plus my 25% discount. All right, so this is kind of the books that I can get locally um, only around here at my shop. This next pile is a bunch of cheap books that I got off their website, which everyone has access to. They recently just had a sale, and they do that every few months. And this one was really quick. It was only for like the weekend. Normally, it's for like a week. 
So I don't know what the deal was, but they had like a one or two dollar sale on a bunch of their books, and I was able to grab a few. Uh, I was pretty happy with what I got. So let me show you what I got from the website. Like I said, it's thanksfromanotherworld.com or tfa.com. I'll leave a link down below. You might just want to save their website and check it every now and then for their sales because when they do them, uh, they just dump them. They really don't care. Um, let me show you some of the stuff I got for a dollar. Uh, these are those Bitter Roots uh, books. That's number 10. That's one of the uh, variant cover for like New Jack City. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, here's number nine, also the variant cover. I think that's also New Jack City. Um, this one was uh, Amazing New Adventures of Red Nails. Is that correct? I don't know. I just like the cover. Obviously, that's an homage to the Superman cover. So I picked that up. Uh, Captain America number 23. For some reason, I missed that Alex Ross cover. I think that was the same one when the Timeless variant came out. So I'm pretty sure I got that one instead of that one. I'm trying to get all of these. So I was happy to pick that up. Thor number nine. This was another cover that I missed out on, and uh, I'm glad I didn't find it because I would have spent, you know, $4, and I was able to get it for a buck. Um, okay, moving on are some of these wonderful B covers, the cardstock ones that I will not buy for cover price because they're too much money. This is Batman number 98, the Matina cover, and look at that, I got two of them because they're a buck a piece, couldn't resist. Uh, here is Batman number 94. Awesome looking book. Let me set those ones down as well. And here is Batman number 95. Another one of the cardstock Matina cover. And look at that. I picked up two of them for $2. So I can't complain. It's a $5 cover price book. Um, here is Batman 97. Also the B cover. And Batman 99. Same deal. Uh, Wolverine number one, this is the facsimile edition of the black uh, ongoing series, black cover, there you go, so I, I have the original, but thought it'd be cool to have the facsimile. Um, some run fillers I was looking for, Middle West number 17, missed out on that one somehow when it came out. Um, Gideon Falls number 22, another very cool book. Um, and then these ones were ones I was looking for. And I wanted to buy them when they came out, but I didn't because I, I stuck to my guns, you know, and I knew that if I waited, I'd pick them up for a lot cheaper. Um, this is Deceased Dead Planet number two, the Matina cover. Trying to get all of these. Here is Deceased Dead Planet number three, also the Matina cover. And number four, look at that. And number five. So it's able to pick up four different Matina covers. I'm trying to get the whole set for the uh, deceased ones because he did one for every single book. And uh, I was able to find those for like around a dollar. So I mean somewhere about a dollar fifty if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I think four of them were over a dollar the rest were a dollar. So one last book here. And I think that one came in the grab bag. I don't know why it's in there. It's Stranger Things, the variant cover. I just thought that was pretty cool. That was on the outside of the grab bag. These grab bags come in like clear bags so you can see all the books inside. It's really very easy to pick through, to be totally honest. Um, but anyway, those are some of the books. You know, like the last batch I showed, those were off the sale from uh, Thanks for Another World. You can always check their website. You know, you can just go in there and filter by price. Look up by publisher, then filter by price. And sometimes you can get a jump on their sale. Like they'll, they'll change the price, but they won't advertise it until like the next day. I do that all the time. I'll check and all, all of a sudden all these books are a dollar and they're a dollar for like 24 hours and nobody knows about it. And then the next day they announce the sale. So, uh, you know, I get first pick. So I'm giving away some of my secrets. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> uh, here's another book that they just gave me in my comic shop. They had a problem the other day with their register. So they just gave this to me. This is the Stormbreaker King in Black number one variant. And uh, so I just want to say thank you to them. Their cash register broke, or the register system, they couldn't ring up anything, so we just kind of were stuck sitting there not being able to buy our books. So anyway, those are some books I just recently picked up, some nice hauls. Like I said, I bought a bunch more of those grab bags as well, and, and uh, they're just all going, I'm giving this stuff away. So, But uh, anyway, I got them for a really cheap. I think I probably bought, I think I probably bought a total of around, uh, uh, 30 of the grab bags and honestly there's a lot of doubles and because they order a lot of number ones and that's why you see all those number ones and I gotta tell you this man I am looking forward to you because they have ordered a ton of the future state stuff from DC 
And man, I'm holding off on all those because all that stuff is going to be in those grab bags here in about two months. I'm not paying more than a dollar for those things. I guarantee you. The Batman one, the eight dollar cover price one, I'm paying a buck for it, and uh, it'll be a good day when I do. So, anyway, guys, I uh, just want to share some books that I picked up. That was pretty cool. Appreciate your time. Do me a favor. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Really, that's all I got. All right, everyone, take care. See you next time. Bye.